Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the floral formula. This is basically a representation of floral parts with the help of some symbols, numbers, letters, etc. So let us see how we can represent this floral formula. So floral formula, this is basically as we discussed is the representation of the structure of a flower. So the different structures are represented with the help of this floral formula. So here we use numbers, we can use letters, we use symbols for this representation. This actually provides the information of a various parts of a flower, the arrangement, how they are arranged, different parts, how they are arranged, the sequences and how they are related with one another, either they are fused, they are free and other relations. So let us see some of the symbols which are going to use to represent in the floral formula. For example, BR. This is known as bractates, right? The presence of bract, which are nothing but small leaf-like structure at the ba base of the petiole or the stalk of the flower. So this is the bract. If a flower has bract, so then the representation will be BR to represent that the flower has got a bract. K means calyx, that is the sepals. C, capital C means corolla, that is the petals. P, perianth. Perianth means the presence of the when we know the perianth is the when few uh, when the sepals and the petals are fused then it is known as perianth so perianth is represented as capital p whereas the male part androecium is represented as capital a the female part is represented as capital g now superior ovary that is g gynecium if it is superior that is present above all other floral parts then it is represented by g followed by a dash at the end at the lower part of the g so if it is inferior ovary then it is represented by g and a bar mark at the up, upper portion of the g letter g now female is represented by this uh, symbol male is represented by this symbol whereas bisexual is represented by a combination of this male and female actinomorphic flowers which means the flowers which are radially symmetrical which we can divide on the on any axis on any plane into two equal halves those are actinomorphic flowers it is represented by this symbol Whereas a zygomorphic flowers where their bilateral is symmetrical that means the flower can be divided into two equal halves only on a single plane. This is represented by a percent sign. Now the fusion it is represented by enclosing within the brackets. For example corolla. The petals if there are five petals and all the petals are fused then it will be represented within the brackets. So corolla within the brackets five is represented as fused five petals. So this is to show fusion. Now the addition is shown by a line drawn above the floral parts. Let's take an example. For example, if the androecium, this here, the male parts that is the stamens are fused with the corolla, right? So then it is shown by this symbol. So this addition is shown by a line drawn above the floral parts. It is represented as in this form. Calyx, corolla, androecium and gynecium, this is drawn mostly in this successive pattern that means calyx then corolla then androecium and followed by the gynecium. So in this video we have talked uh, about the basic floral formula. What are the different symbols, symbols which we are going to use to represent the floral formula and also some other symbols like how to show fusion, how to show addition in the floral formula. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.